Well, it's a dusty day here in the world of sorcery contested realm. And today is the day that Eric's Curiosa team released the rewards for the dust system. So in honor of that today, I'm going to go ahead and crack a box. We're going to talk about dust codes. We're going to talk about the prices of the different things within the the uh, the reward categories and such. And uh, yeah, we're just going to we're just going to celebrate and crack a box. So what is dust? You know, I'm sure many of you watching this channel or, you know, real big sorcery addicts, uh, you know, and I'm, I'm sure you probably already know what dust is, but dust is, um, you know, the codes that you see on the bottom of the box that you can scratch off and redeem for points that you can use to spend on, on promotional type rewards, like cards and things like that. So today was the day that, you know, it went live, the shop went live and there was all kinds of, all kinds of rewards out there to buy. And I had 8,200 dust that I spent on, um, Pretty much every possible promo card that was available. The shocker was how expensive some of it was. I kind of thought 8200 would be like enough for everything and then some left over. I was wrong. So, you know, I I, I think that's kind of good. You know, it keeps the collectability of the different things. And, you know, only only a few people that crack a ton of stuff can, can really, uh, can really, you know, get it all. And, uh, you know, from a collectability perspective, it's good. Um, you know, I know people are, are wanting to get the color out of space. That's, you know, that's one of the big the big cards and pools everybody's after, the, the rewards. But 1800 is what that's going for. Midland, that's our first unique. Usually Midland's a good omen, too. So we'll keep that, uh, keep watching that blizzard. Dodge roll, boom. That's our first foil. Dodge roll. There it is. Let's check that out for a moment here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, looking good. The only zero mana cost card so far. Um, that was really up in the pack here. But uh, yeah, I thought for sure prices might be a little bit less. Maybe color out of space would be like, I don't know, 1200 or so. But again, that wasn't the case. And um, you know, there was an alpha box that went up Pathfinder. Boom, that's a great unique pull. Um, uh, alpha boxes went up. I, I hear there might have been five of them that went up for sale. You know, not many, but they're expensive. Something like, you know, 12,000 points. Oh, Bannerman. Okay. We might, have, we might be dealing with an exceptional box here. So, oftentimes exceptional foils are kind of clumped, clumpy clumped together. So what do you guys think? Were you able to get what you're what you were after? Were you missing some were you missing some things, missing some points? You know, what happened? And I'm normally I put out my TCG player video on Friday, but today I'm like we got to get something out that's uh related to dust. It's like a it's like a holiday. You know when you watch a TV show and your show's not on cuz it's a holiday and it's like, "Oh man, it's a holiday." Well, today is like a holiday. Today is like the dust it's holiday and therefore i'm probably not going to put out my tcg player video the pudge butcher promo looked pretty amazing shrink and primordial spring okay so dust holiday scarecrow okay so we're cracking some boxes in in favor of that now box prices are going up they're working their way up. It's been kind of wild. Grandmaster, love to see that. It's been kind of wild with box prices. I mean, they dipped into the mid, you know, 200 to 250, and then from there, uh, they kind of made their way back up to 250 and higher now. So, I've been buying boxes at 250, and I continue to do so. But it's becoming harder and harder as that Rudy wave, you know, comes to completion, comes to end. Um, you know, it's just been been getting challenging to do that. Uh, looking forward to the alpha opening coming up at the Cort Cortison Cup. And uh, for the most part, I'm sold out. And I have like eight slots left. If you guys want in, shoot me a message. 
I'm going to try to get all the payment information out to the folks that registered this weekend. So uh, instructions on how to pay and, you know, two primordial springs in the same box. That's kind of like an omen of itself. We got a foliage coming here. Swan maidens. What do we got? What do we got? Cave trolls. I see something and it looks like a maelstrom foil. And it is. We got a unique foil. Foil. We did hit one. Wall of air. We hit a lot of maelstrom foils, though. This isn't the first Maelstrom foil we've hit, folks. Um, this isn't the second. It's not the third, either. We hit a lot of them, and I don't know why. So, we did pull a unique foil in this box, which is uh, indicative that there could be more goodies to be found. Rift Valley. Okay. Incinerate. Gray Wolf's Heat Ray. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Oh, like I said, more goodies to be found. Geistwood is a spectacular unique foil hit. Um, typically, I, I have seen Geistwood clumped with Maelstrom. Uh, that is that is something that, that I have noticed before. So, it's a uh, it's a good day. It's for a box opening, uh, dust rewards, and and we're doing we're doing well because of it. So, excellent. Excellent. Overpower, disenchant, minor explosion. I'll take that. I'm trying to build like a magic based deck. Minor explosion. We're pulling all the foils though at the first strip here. First sleeve. Go ship. Okay. I think the dust reward cards are going to become very collectible. Um, you know, if we think the the ladies promo had around 2000 of that promo printed. If you think of the dust rewards, how many how many people do you really think have 1800 dust to buy the Keller out of space? And a lot of people that do, how many have another 1400 or whatever to buy the Cloud City? So, I do believe that they are going to be fairly collectible. Um, because the prices on them, you know, I don't think that a ton of people have a lot of dust just just laying, nice fun color, laying around uh, to do something like that. Now, the question becomes, what's the inventory like and how long will they remain in stock? Will they remain in stock until they're all gone? Um, you know, I think the, one of the big questions is what is the print run? Nice packed with the devil. What does the print run look like? That's just one of the big, the big outstanding questions at the moment. So far, this has been a solid box. Uh, two unique foils. Geistwood's obviously one of the one of the more popular cards, and a lot of that's due to the Genesis ability here. I also have Death Rite abilities, so um, it's pretty. No way, really, really. We got two Pathfinders in one box. Like, how does that happen? That's kind of wild. Um, that's some happy clumping there. Pathfinder is not an easy pull. So. You know, I don't, I I, it, I think I think you should expect the print run of Cloud City to be, you know, I would imagine around 500. That's my guess. Pendulum of Peril. Okay. I built a few extra play sets, and I'm to the point now where I'm starting to list more product. I I, I feel comfortable in what I'm sitting on at the moment i'm starting to list more on tcg player so you'll start to see stuff go up i'm going to take a lot of stuff down to mixed terra nice uh a cordis and cup and see you know if folks want to buy some um you know really hard to find play mats and things like that so if you have uh, accessories and things like that that you're interested in you know please make sure you reach out to me um because i want to make sure that i bring it down if you're interested in purchasing that um I mean, nothing's going to be like a steal off of me because I, you know, I'm, I'm not getting that, that cheap myself, but I'll, I'll do as good as I can, you know, given that it's in person and such like that. So the dust, I was a little late to the dust. I was like 20 minutes late to, to grab it. And a lot of steps in this box. Earthquake's a great pull too for a, um, Oh, 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 o
Yes. I've, and again, I have seen Tadpool pull clumped with Maelstrom and Geistwood. Um, I've actually pulled a box that had these three. You could probably go back through my videos and watch it. And and I, I've done that. There's been a box with those three. I wish I could remember the last one. I think there was four unique. Maybe it was Orb. The Orb might have been the last one in that box. Wrath. Okay. Beast. Roots. No, a freaking four. Four unique foils. What a box, folks. This was awesome. Four. What a way to celebrate the uh, day that we're having here, huh? Holy cow. I just love that, that art on Roots. Um, I'm due in a playmat from Vincent here. I, I sent him, you know, all my information and, you know, everything. And I'm supposed to be getting one. So I'm, I'm going to showcase that on the channel whenever I pull it. And I'm also going to show you guys the promo cards. So I'm going to crack those on the channel. Um, so whenever I get them in, is this the final foil? It is. This is the final foil in the box, folks. Oh, what a way to end it. What a way to end the final foil. Oh boy, I wonder if Two Fluent's watching. Look at those eyes on him, man. What a good box. We got four unique foils and the Grey Wolves. Like, what? What? That's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. We still are due about two or three more. Oh, hang on. Three? No, we have one more foil and it's here. Counted wrong, folks. I counted wrong. This one looks like Men of Lang. It is the men. The men, look at their eyes. We got the men, the wolves. Got some good pulls so far, huh? Good box. Good box to celebrate the dust. Two Pathfinders packed with the devil. A bunch of earthquakes. What an excellent, excellent, excellent box. Makes me want to crack one more. Sphere. I haven't pulled a summoning sphere in a while. Ruins. Drums. Arabs. Now the rest of this box might be boring. Who knows? We only got like two or three more uniques to pull. Two mixed terras in this box. Cauldron Crones. I didn't get my hands on a uh, on a reprint box yet, but I'm <coughs> excuse me so interested in um. Uh, so interested in seeing the print runs in that, and, you know. <gasps> Is this a curio? I'm okay, I'm gonna ask questions for a second here, guys. Holy cow. I, I'm, not, I'm not really good with the Shifting Sands Curio. There's a couple Curios that, that mess with my mind, and Shifting Sands is one of them. Uh, but let's see if we have one in here, and we're going to do a little comparison. Um, if not, I'm going to hit pause on the video, and I'm going to go grab one. And uh, we're going we're gonna to look at this. We're going to look at this. It was out of place, though. And normally, the curios aren't in the second to last spot. The curios don't sit in the spot next to the end. That's not what normally happens. All right. I'm going to pause the video, and I'll be right back. Yeah, folks, we got it. We got the curio. This is the one we just pulled. It has the alpha. I missed the alpha in there, too. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Um, you can tell it's slightly different. The resolution is definitely off, um, off of the two. Uh, reactive animosity. Look at the wording. The wordings are different there. Um, yeah. So, holy cow, what a box. What a box. Another curio down. 
Um, this was the extra one that I, that I just pulled out. My God. Um, so, yeah, I hope you stayed tuned and didn't leave because of all the, you know, of all the uh, foils that were pulled. Holy cow. I mean, at this point, I, I, I'm, I'm losing my mind. I'm putting everything in wrong places. I'm not sure what I'm doing. So this was a heck of a day, right? We had the um, dust launch today. We just pulled four unique foils and we just pulled a curio um like what in the world old demons i'm just like i'm beside myself guys i'm beside myself i can't wait to get this out and for everybody to watch the video somebody somebody explain in the shifting sands i'm obviously going to do more research once i um once i get off here and uh you know get things loaded up for y'all just had an extinguished curio um get things loaded up for y'all um but this pulls this makes my curio ownership count up to three um no duplicates yet either ice age nice pristine paradise coming in for our sixth 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 unique can you get two curios in the same box should i even bother looking did you guys notice too that was the second to last slot um, Grim Reaper, boom, coming in for an amazing number seven for our uniques. This was, um, this was excellent, guys. What a, what a day. What a day. Um, oh my god, smokestacks. Holy cow. This is awesome. What a, what a day, guys. What a day. Smokestacks is not an easy pull. Right? Smokestacks, even in the non-foil, it's like, it's hard. It's hard to pull it. Pudge. Angel. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Again, write me about the curio. Write me about, like, I don't know, what kind of dust rewards did you get? Did you get the color out of space? Did you get the pudge? Everybody wants that pudge. I mean, pudge is pretty awesome. Yeah. Titan? That Titan looked different. Everything's looking different. It's all looking different. Fade, gray wolves. Okay, and we pulled a foil gray wolves for our pal Too Fluent. If you're out there, Too Fluent, give me a nod. Nightmare. Um, Geomancer, some turtles. Turtleage. Turtleage. Turtle. Turtleage. Turtleaged. Foil, Blink. I did off my buddy Cold Foil Heroes. I purchased a non-misprint Blizzard that he had in stock, so I need that now. I'd consider that part of the full foil set. So uh, Exorcism, and I don't know that I'm going to be getting my hands on any of those reprint boxes to do that. So let's recap here. We got our. Oh yeah, I just put these down because I was like. Ugh. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on, so I just like set these down. So, we pulled two Pathfinders. Two Pathfinders. A freaking Curio. Shifting Sands. We pulled Roots in the foil, which I love playing Roots in like pretty much all my decks. Um, love destroying everything. Uh, nice Tadpool pull. We got the Grey Wolves. We got the Geistwood. And we got the maelstrom so this was a wild wild box folks thanks for tuning in thanks for enjoying dust day with me and uh we will talk to you all later